Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we'll be working our way through one of the many MCAT practice problems found at MCATSelfPrep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I'll be walking you through today's problem as if you were one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this problem for yourself before watching my explanation. Now, in order to properly approach this question, we need to understand what happens as neutrons and protons are separated from an atom. As you can see in this image, in order to separate neutrons and protons from each other, we need to input what is called binding energy. And you may be asking yourself, well wait, why do I need to input energy to separate these molecules from each other when these are positive charges? These positive charges repel each other. So shouldn't this process be natural and not require the input of energy? Well, you're, you have strong thinking there, but beyond the electrostatic force, there's another force that's promoting these molecules to stay close together. And this force is called the nuclear strong force. And it's a force that's only present at very, 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 very close distances. And the fact of the matter is, is that this nuclear strong force is much stronger than the electrostatic force. Therefore, in order to separate these protons from each other, we need to input energy. And that energy is called binding energy. Now, you're probably thinking, well, if there's an input of energy, what does that have to do with an increase of mass? Well, this introduces a very important principle in physics which is that energy can be converted into mass and mass can be converted into energy. It's a very interesting concept, very difficult to really understand at a deep level, but thankfully for the MCAT, all you need to know is that energy can become mass and mass can become energy. And that's where we get the famous equation of E equals MC squared. This equation allows us to convert energy into mass and mass into energy using the speed of light as a constant. So that being said, this binding energy is, is being converted into mass. So on the left side we have less mass and energy. On the right side we convert that energy into a greater mass. So that's why we end up with a greater mass when all is said and done. Okay, let's take another look at the question stem. The question stem says, the actual mass of helium is 0.03 AMU less than its predicted mass. The mass expected based on the individual masses of its protons, neutrons, and electrons. In the case of helium, 0.03 AMU is considered the S choice A binding energy. Now, we know that binding energy is the energy that's required to separate those protons from each other. So we can immediately cross off that answer choice. What about atomic mass? Now, atomic mass is the actual mass of helium. So that's, that's irrelevant. The atomic mass difference is simply a distractor term. That's not a term that you need to know. And finally, mass defect is the proper term for the difference in the predicted mass and the actual mass of helium. So that is going to be our correct answer. As you notice with this practice problem, there are a lot of different terms involved. Binding energy, mass defect, nuclear strong force, electrostatic force. There's a lot of terms being thrown out there. And what I would advise to you is to keep these terms straight. They're very important to understand the differences between each one. If you like today's MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. And for more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATSelfPrep.com. And if you are really looking to maximize your MCAT score, feel free to visit my tutoring profile page and request a free 10-minute phone consultation. I would love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. I look forward to hearing from you soon. See you next time.